All right, everyone. Welcome to uh, another flat cap interview. Um, going to be a quick, a quick one this time because last time I interviewed this guy, we were we were getting pissed and waffling on for about 45 minutes. So hopefully it's not as long as that. But the first part's probably still about the same. Uh, so welcome, Justin Keenan, to Flat Cap Productions. Thanks, mate. You're welcome. We're going to have a quick chat about the Go set and what's been going on. Um, so. It was probably, what, two and a half, nearly three years ago since we last had a little chat, I think. Um, what's been going on with the band? I know you've been pushing it out in the States and what have you and that. Yeah, uh, last chat was down in Nelson. Um, yeah, the band's been really busy, believe it or not. It's funny, you know, bands are busy, um, have the appearance of being busy in Australia at, at, at some times and then they're... There, you know, you can't be in all the places all the time. So for us, we've actually been really, really busy, but we've sort of probably been quiet on the local front. Um, trying to write some new material, got plenty of new songs, and um, yeah, we've been spending a lot of time in North America um, doing some. We found our way onto the festival circuit there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's ticking along pretty well for us. Yeah, very good. Because um, you recently did the the. Flogging Molly Cruise as well, but I don't know whether it was in conjunction with that, but you've also released the, I don't know whether it's specific to the, the States, but the, the One Fine Day CD as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 so the One Fine Day is actually a US only release. You can get it in Australia, but only at gigs. So yeah. it's limited. So you need to come out and see the boys playing. Good point. To, to get that. So um, Yeah, the Flogging Molly Cruise, like yeah. that is, that is, for anyone who's watching, that is absolutely all time. So the concept is effectively that you, we were really lucky. We were literally, there's 18 bands on it and we were the 18th band added. Um, and it was some sort of weird popular vote thing, which normally I don't yeah, subscribe well, to. I think I got you that <laughs> one. You were the one, you got it you're about yeah. the 50th person who's told me that the one, you're the one vote that got us there. <laughs> yeah, they, they probably lied to you though, yeah, mate. Of you course. Know. Yeah. And yeah. Anyway, it's 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 yeah, it's all time. It's, so you get on this boat and the boat goes around. And this year we had the offspring in Flogging Molly and um, heaps and heaps of great. The Buzzcocks played. The Buzzcocks yeah. played, and um, so we you get to hang out because you're all stuck on a ship. You know, you get to hang out and party and have a chat to all the different. So we we, we hung out with all of those guys and and partied and had a really good time. There was, um, and a lot of other band members as well whose bands are not playing, so guys from the Casualties and guys from lots of other punk oh, bands. Oh, they went on the cruise. Yeah, they weren't playing. That's right, yeah. Oh, that's good. So we met so many people. Um, Lagwagon were on it, and um, so that was in at the end of April, and then after that, um, you know, we had a bunch of, uh, we had a bunch of sort of festivals that we did. We did one in Colorado, Ohio, so we've, we've been pretty, pretty busy over there. Yeah, excellent. Okay. But you, you, you're coming back and playing some uh, Australian gigs in November with the boys from XSLF? Yeah, so Henry Clooney and um, Jim Riley from, from formerly of Stiff Little Fingers. Uh, I've got a project called XSLF and they're coming out to tour around Australia. We're hoping that we'll have an EP out by then at the least. Um, but we've got to, yeah, but we've got to make the time, um, you know, between now and then to, to, to get that done and get it pushed out. So we're really sort of pressed for time to, to get some, you know, the, the writing's almost done, but the, the writing phase, then you've got the demo phase where you, you all have to get in the same room and play five different versions with time signatures yeah, and whatever yeah. to make sure that you've got, got the right feel. And then you record it, and then of course you've got to you know mix it, master it, press it. It's a bit of a process. So anyway, but we're hoping that um, if not by November, that'll be ready. Uh, hopefully, be done stocking by the end filler. of the year. What's that? A stocking, Stock, a stocking, stocking filler. filler. For Christmas. That's a good point. That's yeah. a good point, actually. So you've got a few new tunes. Uh, are we going to hear them if you on the XSLF tour? Are they yeah. going to come into the set list? Two or, or three. Yeah, two yeah. or three. Yeah, the will road test, I think. Yeah. Oh, that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so, it's been a while actually since we've put out uh, brand new material. So Rolling Sound being the last. Yeah, and that was yeah. sort of the end of 2015, yeah. so, you know, we're coming up to three years. It's funny with bands as they get older, you know, the first few albums are every year, and then yeah, you yeah. sort of 
start to slow down a little and as we do in life as yeah, we get that's, older. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. So far out. Yeah. Um, so the the band's changed a little bit as well since maybe the Rolling Sound album. I know. I know. Sort of once you're in the go set, you're in the go set, and certain people come and play certain gigs. But um, you've had a, a few little band changes as well recently for the states and stuff like that. Yeah, it's um, it's a funny, it's a funny band in a few ways. I mean, we no one's ever been kicked out of the band. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. like everyone. Um, but people tend to, you know, they have babies and. We all go through different phases in life where we're really into it or we want to step away from it for various other reasons yeah. and stuff like that. So yeah, we've had a couple of we've had a couple of um, lineup changes because of that stuff. Um, but it's you know, it's one of those I guess it's sort of unusual in that it's a really inclusive group and we you know, we once as you say, once you're part of the Ghost Set family you uh, continue to be part of the Go Set family. So we like a life membership. A little bit, yeah, yeah. you know, for <laughs> better or for worse, you know. <laughs> so we tend to you know, we tend to uh, make the lineup to fit the tours. And um, you know, Ago, who a lot of people will know, um, you know, has been on the drums for a long time. He's sort of effectively taken a little break, um, from oh, probably coming up twelve months now and it's just uh, spend some just some family time and stay in Melbourne a bit. Yeah. So we've we've had a bit of a lineup change there, which which for all intents and purposes worked really well for everyone. So Chad's come in on the drums. Chad and Josh from Ramshackle Army have joined us. Um, so anyone watching this who's familiar with that band, yeah. um, we've become a bit of a bit of a um, you know dishevelled supergroup, and uh, <laughs> and um, of, of a couple of those guys, and then and then of course you know myself and. And Lockie um, is still doing it. So and and Shorty's taking over from Evan, who's um, you know who's got uh, farming, I believe. Yeah, it's farming and baby. making babies. Out uh, uh, in the bush somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So you know it's but but there's a lot of love in the group. We're always um, we always sort of look out for each other and whatever whatever group um, can tour to it. Yeah, yeah. And Tommy Tommy's moved up to Darwin as well. Tommy's moved so up to Darwin. He'll be doing some shows, but not all of the shows. So it's just yeah, it rotates a little bit. But yeah. um, one of the things that I do love about it is that everyone who has been involved in the ghost set and is still involved in the ghost set in one way or another. Uh, you know, has a different take on music. So what that means when you go to write, so I do the majority of the writing, I go and write a song and I, depending on, you know, who listens to it and who has input, it can tend to take a different Yeah, um, so it brings a direction. different dimension yeah. to the band. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Good. You, you're almost like the, the, the Melbourne Star Orchestra. If you've got everybody <laughs> together, we need a big stage. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Okay, so we've got the uh, we've got the November tour coming up. Um, there's an EP in the offering. So what what's um, 2019 going to bring for the Go Set? Is there anything there you can let us know? Or yeah, 2019 is going to be an extensive Australian tour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, we're going to do a bunch of regional shows in January, but from March and April, we're doing. Um, we're looking at 15 to 20 dates around the country, including some of the places that we haven't been for a while. So people who are watching this from yeah, Tassie yeah. and Perth and places like that that we haven't been for a while, we're hoping to get back to see you in March, April. Oh, that's good. So that's good, yeah. yeah. Um, and we're, you know, we're potentially looking at one European tour and a couple of visits to the States. So no rest for the wicked, yeah. Full on. That's good. That's what we like. Out there and doing it, mate. That's, that's the it. main thing. Yeah. All right, well... Um, we said it was going to be shorter than last time, so it is, but um, Kino's going to do us a, an acoustic. So we'll, uh, we'll sign off and we'll catch you all later. Cheers. Haven't played this one for a long time, but uh, this song's for uh, all the people on our friends, friends of the Go Set page. One of the things that we, one of the things that we really pride ourselves on with this band, having been around for a fair while is uh, we're never going to sell a million records, but we've definitely got a million great friends. Tommy has a problem with drugs, he believes there's a resurrection of a great political mind. He's planning a revolution, Kate, about to run to embark on a great crusade. There's a fortress around her heart. She 
Just holding a secret, they both hold a secret In this city that we call home These people we call our own The drunken and lonely, the broken despair The almost famous and not quite there Honor these stars and these wayward dreams Everything falls apart, we remain The lovers and losers, the beggars and choosers Chosen ones and those promising futures These are all our friends These are all our closest associates These are all our friends To the end, to the end, to the end, to the end now These are all our friends These are all our closest associates These are all our friends To the end, to the end, to the end, to the end Some cost a shadow on my day, I think We've all become Stripped it was written in our different ways The young aspirations come from the minds Poets and dreams and ladies collide Heroes of football, leaders of men The poets and prophets and these future kings These are all our friends These are all our closest associates Nice one, mate. All good? All good? Yeah.